Alright squad, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are checking out the HK 416A5 ERG. This is from Elite Force and it is one of their newer offerings. This gun is incredibly durable, full metal construction, does recoil. I would compare the recoil to something greater than a 22 long rifle. It is extremely noticeable. When you are shooting it, you'll see in the video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's head to the range and start shooting. So the HK416 comes with a mag that can be switched from 120 rounds to 30 rounds to so keep it really realistic. I've got it loaded with 30 rounds right now, so we're going to take a few shots and just see how this recoil is and go from there. Check its accuracy, also check that trigger response. So semi-automatic, looks like we've got to adjust the hop up a little bit. That recoil feels absolutely amazing, I don't, we'll see if you can see it right here. Okay, that in full auto is seriously some incredible, that's so much fun. And the mag will actually stop the gun from firing once you shoot all 30 rounds. So just like a, a real firearm, it ran dry, and that is amazing. I, I'm so happy with this. Oh my, I'm smiling right now. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Jackal Tactical. Thank you so much, Jackal, for supporting the channel and giving us this gun to review. Really appreciate that, guys. If you would like to thank them, shop Jackal Tactical. That is how you can support me as well. Thank you so much, Ambush, for letting us come out here and film at the field. It is so beautiful. If you're in Conestoga or you're in Pennsylvania, guys, check out Ambush. It is a great field. Let's get back to the video. All right, gang, so at about 150 feet from here, there's a doorway to the castle. We're going to try and send some rounds with the h &K 416 from here and see how it performs. I think I've got the hop-up dialed in. Every hit is dead on. That is amazing. That's awesome. Now, when the gun goes dry, it does stop shooting, which is a very cool feature. I love that. All right, that's enough shooting here at the field. We're going to head back to the studio and dive a little bit deeper into these guns. they got a chainsaw running out here. They're doing some field modifications. Ambush is really stepping up their game with the field itself. I love seeing that. Thank you so much, Ambush, for making it a better experience for the players. Let's head back to the studio. All right, we're back in the studio, and we are going to go over a few more features of the gun itself. The first thing I want to talk about is the mags. The mags are really freaking cool. Like I stated before, it switches between that 120 and 30. I ran both. They were reliable, didn't have any issues there. So this little dongle here that sticks up, uh, that is probably not the technical term for it, but this basically sticks up into the gearbox, hop-up unit, whatever, and simulates the gun going dry. The gun actually will not shoot. So once you run out of ammo, this goes up in there, shuts the gun down, and you have to change your mag and hit your uh, bolt release here just like the real thing so i mean this thing is insane when it comes to the realism with this gun so moving from there you have an ambidextrous mag release here selector switch here so you've got your semi uh, full auto and safe we've got this trigger guard right here it is enhanced if you're wearing gloves that's really cool to see something else to note we've got our flip up sights here and here so front and rear flip-up sights. Uh, the retention is really good on the flip-up sights. Everything is metal, so it's really impressive. Even the charging handle um, is, is all metal. So I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but the gun does weigh almost nine pounds, so it is a beefy rifle. The stock is polymer. The grip down here is polymer, um, which is pretty authentic. It's obviously licensed through Elite Force, who has the okay from HK to do this, which is really cool. So the hop up is right here under the dust cover and bolt carrier group. You kind of slide that back with the charging handle. It'll lock in place and that will give you access to your rotary hop up. Really simple to dial. I didn't have any problems uh, getting it fine tuned to be able to shoot long distance. This gun definitely performs. Um, honestly, the 150 feet was kind of a slap in the face. It'll easily go out past 200 feet with this gun i would have no problems doing it the rate of fire was actually impressive uh to go back and watch the full auto test with it uh even having that electric uh recoil system in it my goodness it did not have any problem it wasn't a slouch i was using an 11.1 volt titan battery in it and actually elite force does have a battery on their website that would work much better with this you don't have a lot of real estate in the stock so right back here this is where your battery is going there's not a lot of real estate to put uh, your battery back in your buffer tube so you're not going to fit a nunchuck in here at all 
Um, basically, it's going to have to sit in this cap here in the back. Your battery is going to have to sit here for it to work. Another cool feature is a full metal outer barrel. Uh, it's a 16 and a half inch barrel with the sight pinned out here, which is really neat. The gun shoots around 390 feet per second with 0 0.2 zeros. So that is where we're at, just under that 400 feet per second, which I think is respectable. I mean, all things considered, it's hitting hard, it's shooting far. It's got a really cool feature with that uh, recoil system. This gun is definitely one of my favorites here in 2024. I think this is going to be a classic for years to come, honestly. I, I definitely think uh, Elite Force hit a home run with this gun.